Hello and welcome. Today I've got here a Swamp Caller Shaman and I'm going to paint it up super quick. I think this method took me oof, half an hour, 40 minutes uh, and got a very nice dirty effect which I love. I call this method what, Swampy Contrast. I did it with a Gut Ripper in another video. Click somewhere to see him uh, or you can just look at him over here. But effectively, this method involves, first of all, doing some underpainting and then a bunch of contrast paints. So stay tuned and see what paints I use. But honestly, this is a super quick and easy way of getting minis painted. And it's honestly quite vibrant, especially with the new contrast paints. Take a look and see what I mean. The first step in painting the Swamp Caller Shaman is a Zanry Dust base coat or undercoat. I've used the Zanry Dust spray here. Uh, there might be a few places that I didn't really reach, which isn't the end of the world because the next step, I'm going to take some Agrax Earthshade and literally slather this all over. So I've got a fairly large brush here and I'm just gonna go around and get this in all of the crevices and just cover this entire model with Agrax Earthshade. Once that is very much dry, I'm going to take some Rack White Dry Paint. Uh, this is a nice creamy off-white. If you don't have this, I suppose something like what Wraithbone would be perfectly fine. And I've got a cheap little makeup brush here, and I'm just going to go around and dry brush this mini, just picking out all of the raised detail. And this is a bit of a heavy dry brush, uh, especially around the topmost areas, almost like having a zenithal highlight over there, and a little bit lighter down below, just to pick out the raised areas. With that, all of the prep work is out the way, and now comes the fun part, grabbing a bunch of contrast paints and just sort of tinting the colors accordingly. I'm gonna start off with the lowest layer being the skin, and I've got here some Plague Bearer Flesh. I've got some on my palette, and I'm gonna go around now and just pick out all of the skin with this. I know Games Workshop just released a bunch of new contrast paints, one of them being Gut Ripper skin or Cool Boy skin or something. I personally haven't tried it yet. I saw it, but looking at the color that it was, I actually think I like this more. It's nice and grimy and grungy when put over this Zandri Dust base coat. I mean, look at that. You get your shadows, you get your highlights, and it just looks dirty and gross. It seems an important step that I forgot to mention is being interrupted by a kitten while you're doing this. While that skin is drying, I'm going to flip him around and tackle this Gargant skull, because I honestly love it. This is such a wonderful model. So I've got here some Skeleton Horde, which is perfect for bone, especially when you've got that undercoating done like that. And I'm going to use it straight out the pot because I want a sort of dirty bone look. I painted a bunch of skeletons using the Skeleton Horde before, and if you want grimy skeletons, this straight out the pot works wonders. That's looking sufficiently grimy there. So I'm going to move on to one of the new contrast paints. This is Garagax Sewers. And honestly, I love that name. I picked it up mostly for the name. But I found in my experiments that this works as a very nice wood color. Uh, if you watch my previous video, you'll see that I used wild wood for these wooden staves and things. However, this Garagax Sewer is not as dark. It is dark, but you're not losing the highlighting. I found my previous video Wildwood straight out the pot, uh, I lost some of the highlights because it was too dark. So I'm going to go around now, pick out his little staff, as well as pick out the bowl here, just being careful not to get the sort of magic goop coming out of it. Speaking of the new contrast colors, wow, well, you can see it on my brush there, with that brown done, I'm going to grab some striking scorpion green this thing stand out stands out from a mile away and i think this will be perfect for this glowing what is it in the in the rules i think it's poison or something oh but look at look at that one coat of this over that 
underpainting that undercoat and just look at it. That just screams magical to me. Oh, just look at that. I <laughs> honestly am so happy with that. Okay, continuing on with the trend of new Citadel colors. I swear this video is just me trying out all the new contrast paints. This is Croxagore Scales, and I love this blue. I've been playing around with it, and I needed to find some way of incorporating it into this paint. Uh, so I'm going to use it for this. I'm guessing this is a troll hand. You know what? Nails and all. I love this color as well. It's also got a bit of like a sheen to it, like a magical glow. Oh. I must say, if you if you haven't tried out the new contrast paints, just grab these ones that I'm talking about now. The scales, the scorpion, the sewers, all the S's. Anything with an S, grab it. They're amazing. That blue's nicely dried, and at the same time, while I had it on my palette, I went back and put some of that green and some of that blue on these bottles here. And just a touch of that brown for the cork, just to tie it all in nicely. Next up, I've got some Blood Angels Red, which is the red I use for the armor of my cruel boys. So you look there, in between, let me just try and get my brush in there. There's a bit of almost like a scare shield, similar to the gut rippers over there. So I'll jam my brush in there to get that nice and red and at the same time this third bottle will get the red treatment just once again to tie it in nicely as well as i see there's a tiny little scare shield over there moving on now i've got a lot of the bright colors down now it's time to do something a bit darker i've got my <laughs> very old pot of black templar here and if you notice in the official artwork uh, for the Swamp Caller Shaman, the robes are black. And this makes it look very witchy, very like, I want to say fairy tale witchy. So my original plan was to do the brown robes, much like my gut rippers. But after looking at that artwork, I really do like this guy sort of stands out by being a witch and black templar normally is quite dark however with this swampy contrast method you still do get those highlights like that and it becomes almost like a dirty black which works very nicely all right that black is looking sufficiently creepy i'm now going to move on to some bistilicanum gray i mentioned in my previous video that I'm going to use this instead of something like Let Belcher for anything that's metallic. So that would include these key rings. It makes it look like a nice dark metal. I don't know why I said key rings. These metal rings. I suppose you could call them key rings. Uh, additionally, any of these spiky things I'm going to pick out in this basilicanum grey including just get a bit more these large spikes i don't know why this guy decided spikes are the way to go but sure and these rivets he's got some on the back of his skull as well as they're just dotted all over the place there's some on his clothing there uh, additionally i'm going to pick out any chain links there the earring anything metallic and this also will serve double duty i see there's a little rock on the base here at the same time let me grab that rock after that it's time to tackle the robes i have here a series of browns and tans uh, for example right now on my palette i have some gorgrunter fur and much like my previous video i'm just going to go and find random spots on the clothing and just each part of the rags do in a different shade of brown. With all of those browns and tans done, I've now got some athematic blue. And even though this is a very thin contrast paint, I like it for all these little, I want to say bracelets and charms. Basically all these bits and bobs hanging off of the robes. And 
because it is quite thin I probably will let this dry and then do a second coat of this. I know, blasphemy when it comes to contrast paints. Now with that blue second coat done and a few little tidy ups here and there where I've missed things, I think this work is done. I'm going to quickly just grab a few colors to pop in some of the base details that I'm not going to worry about too much. Put my texture paint and my basing stuff on there and let's see what this bad boy looks like. And there we have it. The Swamp Caller Shaman is finished. I had a lot of fun with this. These new colors, this, uh, was it the scales and the scorpion color? Oh, they are beautiful. I actually need to go get more of these new contrast paints. Uh, if you like that and you want to see anything similar, leave a comment down below. Let me know which models you want to see me paint next. Uh, probably going to paint more of these gut rippers. Give me this little pot grot next up. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, please, if you want to see more, hit subscribe. Every time someone subscribes, YouTube sends me an email and <laughs> honestly, it makes my day seeing these emails come in. I'm a very small channel, still growing, and I'd love to see comments and see what you guys enjoy, what else I can do to make these videos better. Until next time, go grab some minis, grab some paints, and have some fun. Cheers!